Strada Bianchi, a race that only started 14 years ago, but has captured the hearts of many with the beautiful region of Tuscan Italy. But the only thing that the race has captured us with is the most awesome final finish that leads into the city of Siena with the amazing steep climb that goes with it before the finish. This climb has definitely destroyed many pros in the past. Now that we're heading back into another edition of Strada Bianchi, we're going to look at five amazing moments so far in this history of this young but lovely one day race. Wout van Lijn is currently the champion of the Strada Bianchi, where he pulled off a one sided victory last year, but before his days at Jumbo Visma, he managed to make a podium finish, but at the cost of his legs. As we can see, he's cramping like hell and in deep pain, but he gets up to make that third place position, where he was 58 seconds behind the winner that was Lotto Sudel's Benut. Fabian Cangellara is by far the most successful rider of this race, as the Swiss powerhouse has won it three times and the day he became the third winner of the race was no short of drama. Usually the race is very one-sided with one or two riders reaching the finish far from apart from each other, but here we had three riders reach the top together and it was everything or nothing in the attack for the last 100 metres to finish where Cangellara outdid the cyclocross superstar that was Steve Barr in the final push to win the race. When people think of Sagan, they think of perfect person to win a race like Strada Bianchi. Sadly, he's never won it, but he came close one time in 2014 when he was about to climb the final obstacle that leads into the finish in Siena. He was about to take the win, but then Kvyatkowski dropped him on the final climb to the finish to take the win. If this was a moment fans thought that Sagan would win, this was definitely the one. This one will likely go down as the most tensest of all finishers. When Greg Van Avermaet was about to take the win, looking electrifying on the final climb into the city, but it was the cyclocross superstar, Steve Barr, that wasn't having any of it. Putting in more effort, he stayed on his target, that was Van Avermaet. And the BMC rider was likely not expecting his fellow rider to be fresher than him after that climb, as it is pretty steep. Van Avermaet looked destroyed. At that point was when Steve Barr knew this was his moment to hit the pedals and not look back, to take a breathtaking unexpected win from Van Avermaet who was definitely in it at that time. And once again we involve Sagan. While we love riders like Sagan, this is by no means a Sagan fan channel, but we couldn't leave this one out. Before the days of Tinkoff Saxo, he managed to pull off a 1-2 victory with successful teamwork but what makes it very impressive as well is how they did it and then allowing Marino Mossa to become the first and only Italian winner of this Italian based race and also, surprisingly, is also the youngest rider to win this race this very day, even if Wout van Aert is the current winner. That's all the moments that we can think of from Strada Bianchi. Please do comment down below if you have actually got some in mind, we'd like to hear what you think. And before you go, make sure you like the video and be sure to subscribe to us as well if you're not. And click the bell icon right next to it so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. And again, that's it from me. And as always, have a nice day.